Good morning, everyone. Meteorologist Hutch Johnson joining you. A few storms possible today. I'll show you when and where. And yes, they could be strong as the heat is on. Your forecast is right now. But first, speaking of the heat and humidity, your place could be a lot more comfortable with a new Bryant heating and cooling system. Upgrade today and get a free water heater from my friends at Robert Gibb and Sons. Call them today. Let them know Hutch sent you for details on this awesome deal. All right, let's take a look at what's going on. We're going to start with that regional, the national view as we go through. Notice Hurricane Aaron drifting out through the Atlantic, making that mid-Atlantic impact, but not a, at least the models indicating staying out at sea with the majority of those impacts. Now, that does not mean there will be none, as we'll still see some high surf and some very gusty winds as that storm works its way through. All right, let's get down into business here in our neck of the woods and show you what we are concerned about heading into the afternoon today. Quiet this morning, winds from the south really heat things up. If storms form at all today with all of this heat and humidity that's been building out west for the last couple of days, they could be very strong to severe. Very large hail, gusty winds will be the main threat, and that threat will be mainly out in northwest North Dakota as we go through the nighttime hours. Some of this energy will drift our way in the overnight hours, and yes, we could have some storms in our northern counties to start your very early Thursday morning. For us, we're on the warm sector here in the James River Valley through Fargo, Moorhead, and Lakes Country. Southerly winds really bringing the heat and humidity back into scope. Now, as we go through the day, it does look like this system will work its way through and a chance for scattered showers and thunderstorms. This model is a little bit more widespread with the activity, but any storms that do form here in the afternoon hours. The timing is perfect, particularly here in the valley, to see a few of those storms being strong. All modes of severe weather will be possible as this line makes its way through. So keep that in mind. Again, there will be a risk of Thursday thunder here in the valley, but for the day today, it looks like the best chance will be out to the west. So here's what you need to know as we go through your forecast period. As we start the day near 60 degrees, a lot hotter out to the west near 70 there. Then your afternoon, uh, the winds will be picking up. They'll be southeasterly here, but southwesterly winds. Look at the heat building out there. There's going to be some sweaty, well, uh, high country out there in the elevated terrain of the big sky country of Montana at 103 in Glendive. We're talking 90s for Minot for Bismarck. I do think we'll see a chance at some 90 degree readings as far east as you folks up there near Carrington and New Rockford as well as the heat just looks like it'll continue building. We'll see 80s here in the valley. Seven day planner. A couple things to advertise. I have highlighted Thursday uh, for the last several days out there to the uh, to the chance of severe thunderstorms here and there. Not everywhere as we go through. Temperatures hovering in those mid 80s for most. A few of us will sneak up into the upper 80s and then a precipitous fall in temperatures brings a cooler stretch of weather harvest weather. For all of you producers out there, keep in mind, it's uh, just uh, a look like, say, a drier stretch of weather with temperatures in the 60s. And how about these morning temperatures as the high pressure moves over us, dipping down to near 40 degrees? I've got a 39 for your Monday cool McChilly start to your day next week. Now that's a look at your forecast. I'm meteorologist Hutch Johnson. You can get the latest right here on Hutch's weather anytime, anywhere. Drop a comment. Let me know where you're watching from and how the harvest is going in your area right here on this video. But until next time, stay tuned and we'll keep you updated right here. Follow on Facebook, subscribe on YouTube and have a wonderful Wednesday. We'll keep you posted on storms.